Tiffany? Isn't it festive? Take it down, all of it. But it's Christmas. Not in my bar, it's not. <sighs> Such a humbug. Hey, darling. Can I get another? Sure. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Like my dreams? What time you get off? Past your bedtime. Hey. Come on, give me another chance. Hey, get your hands off of her. Hey, what? feisty. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty. No brains. No wonder you work in a bar. <laughs> Carl? Carl? Come on, Car Carl. Carl. Yeah. Have you ever seen a small Latina woman beat the living daylights out of a large, bold man? Look, senorita, I ain't trying to have any problems, so I'll just be on my way. I could have handled that. Tiff, you can't let those guys get started. Well, you didn't give me a chance before you jumped in all crazy. You want a chance? Go tell Santa over there he's got off. the decorations and oh and the Christmas carols the dysfunctional families the ready children the annoying neighbors well at least it's merry for some of us <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so la, 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 la. You ready to kick some butt? And look fabulous doing it. Can your shirt get any brighter? I'm gonna chew it after we work out. See, Tiff, that's why those guys at the bar don't take you seriously. No, I look cute. And after you teach me your kung fu ways, they won't even see me coming. Okay. Relax. Okay. 
Come on. Okay. Come. Do you want to go pee? Right foot forward. Your other right foot, princess. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now, shadow boxing stance. Come on. Arms. Okay. You look like he man. Yeah. That's not shadow. Sh no. Ow. Come on. Okay. Sorry. So like you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Is this right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's just try something else. No, it's not working. Okay. All you have to do is kick as hard as you can. Okay? Okay. But like, what if you get hurt? I'm not gonna get hurt. Okay. Have you ever seen a small Latina woman beat the living daylights out of a large ball of pain? Oh my god! Sorry! No, just try to kick that, not sorry. me! Okay, sorry, sorry. <sighs> just not here! Stuff. Okay, all right, okay. Such a girl. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, that was good. Do you ever actually use this stuff on people? Uh, yeah. So are you still seeing Andrew? Who? Oh, that was just one date. That was enough. Good, because I've got someone I want you to meet. Not interested. He's really nice. I don't care. Tiff, I don't have time. You don't have time or you don't want to make time? What's the difference? They're really different. You're going to have to let someone in eventually. I'm doing fine on my own. You're not fine. Sure I am. You're angry and stressed. And a man's going to fix that. No, but you've got some pretty thick walls to break down. And I feel sorry for the man who tries. Yeah? I'm trying to reach an Amelia Pittman. Yeah, that's me. This is Deborah calling from Redwood Retirement Village. There's been an incident with your father, Mr. Pittman. We need you to come down right away. Yeah, contact my brother, Philip. He'll be happy to come down. Ms. Pittman, please. We can't reach him. And we need someone to come down here right now. Oh, gosh. He better be dying. What's the address? Miss Pittman, please come in. Thank you for coming. So, what did he do? And what's with the do do? It's how your father copes with uncomfortable situations. Mr. Pittman got into an altercation with another resident. So I get called to the principal's office because you picked a fight with another kid? Dirty Nazi had it Mr. Come. Pittman, we will not tolerate that kind of language here. I got some language. Whoa, whoa. 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 What's happening here? Miss Pittman, I'm sorry, but you're going to need to find another facility for him. Tracy, please escort Mr. Pittman back to his room. Brought me into this unit to fight the Nazis. Now I'm getting thrown in the brig. You won't hear the end of this. I'm writing President Roosevelt. Hello, Mr. Pittman. Puerto Rican. My wife was Puerto Rican. I'm South African. South African. Is that near Florida? No, Mr. Pittman. South Africa. Why is he talking like that? His bad days are coming more and more frequently, and I feel he requires a level of care beyond what we can provide. Bad days. Yes, your father requires a facility that specializes in memory care. Memory care? I'm sorry. I thought you knew. Your father has early onset Alzheimer's. Your brother is the one we usually deal with, but I assumed you knew. I'm sorry to break this kind of news to you, and at this time of year, but as I mentioned, he requires more care. I've 
called some facilities and I found a few with beds available. Yep. Another Pittman family Christmas. Oh, hi, hon. You always brighten my day. They gave me a box to put up your stuff. That's of us at the college senior formal. It looked lovely. And that was Amy. I don't remember when that was taken. <laughs> Sorry I wasn't there for you in those days. Abandoning your family will do that, won't it? Made a lot of mistakes. Glad you can finally admit that. Never thought it would come to that. Come to what? Elena, I know how hard it was for you, me not being there. Me behind bars. What are you talking about? Oh, hi, Amy. Fred, look at me. You were talking about when you left when I was little. Tell me what happened. Why would you want to bring up such painful memories? I didn't. You did. Now tell me what happened when you left. Were you in jail? for 15 years. What? And why didn't I know this? It was your mother's idea. She <laughs> didn't want to taint your memory of me. If only she had gotten the money. What money? The robbery. Robbery? Oh, I did 15 years for armed robbery. What? But if mom didn't get the money, what happened to it? It's hard to say. I do know I kept the best piece hidden away. The riches may fail, but the righteous shall flourish like the green leaf. So, where is it? Where's what? The cash you hid away. I took it up to my uncle's cabin in the mountains. I hid it there. And you never went to get it back? Get what? The money! Well, Amy, if you need money, all you had to do was ask. No, Fred, I don't need your money. Just put that away. No, no. here's $5 for a tank of gas. Just put it back. I have to go anyway. It was nice to see you. I'm glad you stopped by. Huh. Pick this box of pictures. He's probably made the whole thing up. <laughs> Nazis. Hey. Taylorsville Bank Heist Solved. Two men from Taylorsville were arrested Tuesday in connection with the bank robbery that happened on December 21st. Frederick Pittman and Henry Johnson were charged with armed robbery. <laughs> you old fart. So you really think he remembers where it is after all these years? It's gotta be stored in there somewhere, right? It just seems like a gamble to me. Hey, hon. What seems like a gamble? Nothing. Amy wants to break her dad out of the nursing home and go searching for buried treasure. What? Ignore her. <laughs> what are y'all plotting? My father has some money hidden away and he owes me. He knocked over a liquor store or something? No, nope. he robbed a bank. <laughs> the reason why he wasn't around when I was a kid is because he was in jail. Your dad robbed a bank and went to jail. I'm glad you find this hilarious, Jeff. He said he hid it when he knew he was going to get caught. What if it's not there? It's my only shot. Bank wants the payment by the end of the month. Why don't you just find out where it is and go get it yourself? I can't get a straight answer out of him. I'm just hoping that if he sees the place, maybe it'll shake something loose in there. Seems like a bit of a stretch. Well, after all that man has put me through, a little payday is the least I could do. 
wedding was so beautiful. Where did they go on their honeymoon? Aruba. Jason took me to Myrtle Beach for our honeymoon. At least you got one. We went back to work the next day. Melinda's gonna be gone for two whole weeks. Amy, surprised to see you today. Huh. So you do know who I am. So what brings you by today? Well, uh, girls, some privacy here? Chop, chop. Can we talk a bit more about your, uh, time away? I can only imagine how angry you must have been. Ben. Well, I suppose some transgressions are not easily forgiven. Talk to me about that treasure you hid away. Well, you remember, I lived in Indiana, and there was this fella there by the name of Miller. What does this have to do with money? Well, money isn't everything, child. Why, the righteous shall flourish like the green Do you even remember what we're talking about? Of course I do. I'm not see now. Why, just the other day I was talking to Elena about the good old days. I have some lovely photos in my room. You should see them. Perfect. Let's talk in your room. Amy, I'd have known you were here, I'd have been out front to meet you. But I was just, never mind. I wanted to talk to you about the money that you hid away at your uncle's cabin. The cabin. Spent a lot of great summers at that cabin. There was this one time we Fred, had all the honey. I don't have time for this. I need to know if you remember where the cabin is. Oh, how could I forget something like that? You'd be surprised. So you do remember? Well, of course. So what do you say for a little road trip with me? <laughs> I'd say gas up the Chevy, baby, and let's hit the road. Perfect. Um, I'll just pack up a few things for you. We won't be gone long. Stay in here. Oh, for crying out loud, stop that. Let's get your coat on. Sure do love Christmas. Well, I remember Christmas a bit differently. A bother. Uh, residents aren't allowed to leave without a written release form, and I don't have anything here for Mr. Pittman. Really? That's odd. Philip and I talked with Melinda when we first got him moved in, and Philip signed all the forms. We're going to my sister's for the holidays. Everything's arranged. Melinda, she's over housekeeping and maintenance. She's not the residence coordinator. Yes. Yes. She said that. She said she was helping out with, oh goodness, what was the name? Phyllis? Yes. She was helping out with Phyllis that day. 
You know Melinda. Sweet, I said love you. Why don't you give Melinda a call? We'll wait. Let me look at my numbers really quick. Shoot. Um, I hate to bother Melinda on her honeymoon. If you could just sign this for me really quick, we'll be sure to get everything straightened out. Perfect. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Mr. Pittman. I hope you have a lovely Christmas with your daughters. My who? Uh, silly daddy. You remember? We're going to Terrace for Christmas. Oh, I love Christmas. Song. I'm not interested in your religious stuff. Just trying to cut through the deafening silence. Well, I got nothing to say. You're saying plenty. Well, am I? Must have gotten that from Mom. Because Lord knows you never had much to say. Fifteen years in prison was not a vacation. You were there by your own choice, Fred. No one gave me a choice. I didn't choose for your mom to get sick. I made a mistake. You've chosen to hold on to the anger, hoping somehow maybe it'll change what happens. Really have lost your mind. One day, you'll have to make a choice to let it go. What you did to us, that's not something you just let go. Where are we going? Let's get some tunes on this radio. Just, let's just stop and get something to eat. You're gonna have a stroke. But I like sugar. Merry Christmas, y'all. What can I get you? What's the special today? Just look at the menu, Fred. I wanna know what the special is. That's okay, hon. The special today is Henry's goulash. But I don't recommend it. It smells like feet. Eh, thanks for the warning. I think I'll just look at the menu. Well, I'll just give y'all a sec. father and you wind up with a daughter that hates you. Oh, Shook, she don't hate you. I'll be right back in just a second. I wonder if they have any hot sauce back there. Jenny. Um, my name's 
not Jenny? Right, not Jenny. Move over. To doing back here. I'm so sorry. Just stop that. Are you listening to me? You're making me nervous. I'm making you nervous. Mm. Okay. What are you doing now? Something on my shirt. It gets hot sauce. Well, we're not seeing anyone important. No, this will not do. I can't be seen in such a state. What are you doing? Just change my no. shirt. Okay, stop. Fred, just get back down. What? Oh, shirt in there. Oh. Of course there is. Oh. What idiot packed this bag? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, no shirt. Well, there's a sign up there for a department store. We'll just. Stop and get me another shirt. Already found something. Go try it on. Let's get back on the road. I like this shirt. It's snazzy. Oh, for the love of your pants. Your pants. You, what? Huh. Seem to have forgotten my pants. Yeah. Look at that one. I'll take that one too. This be all? This one and the one he's wearing. I have no idea that they have been having. He's like a child. Can't even go to the bathroom without him getting us kicked out of the restaurant. Then he walks around with no pants. That's a good price. He drinks water with sugar in it. Let the boys in the 82nd Airborne wish they had some of those. God is getting back at me. Have a nice day. We're done. Let's go. We didn't buy those shoes. Well, of course not, hon.
golly. I think the Army can afford a nicer place. Looks like one of those by the hour places. What? Oh, this is fine. We should get some sleep. Oh, sure are snazzy, aren't they? Still got some distance to cover tomorrow. All right, Captain. Oh. I'll give you some privacy. Doesn't work. I can see that. Want some coffee? I just brew a pot. Oh, that would be great. Oh. Where are you two headed? Taylorsville. What's in Taylorsville? Hopefully, the answer to my problems. In Taylorsville? Seems unlikely. What sort of problems you having? Too many to count. I still have seven hours in my shift. You wouldn't believe a word of it. Try me. You know that man in there, my father? He holds the key to the one thing that could salvage the wreck that is my life. Well then. <laughs> you know, one day he was just gone. It was just a few days before Christmas. I remember I couldn't figure out what I did to make him leave. You know, Mama was sick before, but she got so bad, she couldn't take care of us anymore. My brother had to live with my uncle, and I went to stay with my my aunt in Puerto Rico, which was nothing like my mother. She used to say, Amelia, life is full of suffering. You better get used to it, because it does not get any better. Next Christmas, my mama was gone. I always prayed my father would come back and get me. I used to write him letters, but I didn't know where to send them, so I kept them in a box under my bed. I begged God to send him home. He never answered. Never wrote, never called. When I was old enough, I came back to the States. One day I was closing up a store I worked at. Turned around and there he was. Just standing there, beaming from year to year. Like expecting me to jumping his arms or something. He finally returned like he always wanted. It's too late. He wasn't there for us. In Bible study, we learned. Oh, <laughs> do not preach at me. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to preach at you. I can't preach at anyone. I'm just trying to explain something to you. 
Well, explain away, preacher lady. Unforgiveness. It's like drinking poison, hoping it kills the other person. Well, he doesn't deserve to be forgiven. It's about you, not him. Well, thank you for the coffee. I hope you find what you're looking for in Taylorsville. Yeah, me too. Getting the car packed up. Don't leave the room. I'll be right back. Second verse, so it's okay. Take this exit. But the GPS says it's one This is it. Turn here. in the floor? Is it in a closet? Inside a safe? In a fireplace? Is it even inside? The righteous shall flourish like the green leaf.
Early tomorrow, we can make it in plenty of time. I'll go get some firewood. And Dad, you did it. She was feisty, a lot like you. <laughs> Remember, one time we got these letters from the Lincoln campaign. You know, those fundraising letters that they send out. Uh, like Civil War, Abraham Lincoln? Uh, glad to see you retained something from your education. Um, Mom didn't write a Lincoln. That was a little bit before you were born. Uh, Washington was in office when I was born. Mm. Who'd you think we were talking about? Clearly, I don't know anymore. Well, anyway, so she contacts the Lincoln campaign and You never asked me why I did it. What? You never asked why I robbed the bank. Okay. Why did you rob the bank? Well, when your mom got sick, the medical bills just started piling up. I mean, I was drowning. But I was too proud to ask for help. And one night I ran into this old army buddy of mine, Hank Johnson. He came up with this plan, and we got everything together and robbed the first Union Bank at Taylorsville. Uh, th that teller, she started shoving the money in the bag, but was looking at me like she was looking right through the mask at me. I had to get out of there as fast as I could. So what happened? <laughs> well, Johnson took his money and left. And Mom didn't get the money? Uh, took what I had and brought it up here and hid it in this cabin. 
was arrested before I got back. <coughs> she, she never got the medicine that she needed. If I'd only asked for help. Dad, I'm so sorry I didn't know. I'm glad we did this together. Me too. I'm gonna go inside for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. Stay in the car. Right over. He's like a child, like a three-year-old. Can't even go to the bathroom without him getting us kicked out of a restaurant. Then he's walking around with no pants. More sugar and more sugar and more sugar. Hey, puppy. Hey, puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, my God. Dad, hey, stop! Puppy. How many times are we gonna do this? It's coming to see you. Yeah, yeah. See yeah. the puppy. What? Black puppy. Yeah, whatever you say. Yeah. Have a good nap. Where are you taking me? We're going home. You can't take me home. You know where my home is? It's okay. Who are you? Well, it's me, Amy. You can't take me home. You should be worried. Are you talking about Mama? You should be so worried. She won't know where I am. It's okay, we're going home. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Doop dup, doop dup, doop dup, doop dup. Wait, stop doop that. Doop. Listen to me. Hurt me. No, of course not. No. It's me. It's, no. it's please, me. Please don't hurt me. Please. I'm oh, sorry. Please, please don't hurt me. Please.
take the interstate, it'd probably be faster. We have a bag full of money on the car. I think I'll stay off the interstate. Right-o. We have a signal. Hi, Mr. Pittman. This is Robert from First National Bank. I'm calling about the final payment due on your loan. Due to the holidays, your payment has been moved up. Can they do that? December 24. Merry Christmas. If we drop all night, we can make it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What'd you do? What's wrong with it? No! Take a look at it. No, don't touch it. It's hot. No. Didn't you just hear me? I just said don't touch it. Why can't you just leave well enough alone? Just stop. Uh, just stop what? What? That you could magically fix the car? That you could magically fix any of this? No, I'm not gonna get there in time. And you, you're the one who got us in this mess. If I hadn't been so stupid, we wouldn't be here. You? I borrowed money to get the bar going. I had to do it all on my own. Thanks to you, I can't do it. I, I, I can't do any of it. It's just too much. You are just like me. It's getting cold, just get in the car. Maybe we can walk somewhere and find something. There's no telling how far it would be. It's getting cold. I don't know what to do. Father, help us get out of here. Send somebody to help us or just show us what to do. In Jesus' name, amen. So, when did you find this um, God stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't imagine a Bible thumper robbing a bank. Started the night of the bank robbery. We had this prison ministry came in every week to have church with us. Mm. Church, fun. Yeah, he got me out of my cell. It took a long time before I would start listening, but once I actually did, life was never the same. So what do we do now? <laughs> Perfect. The police. They need the money. Oh, come down. I've handled cops before. Hi, officer. We're having some car trouble. Uh-huh. All right, I'll take a look at it. I just replaced the alternator. Hang on to us. I can't go back. Just, just let me handle this. I can't go back. I can't go back. 
Nobody's going anywhere. All right, give her a crank for me. Sir, sir, get back in the car. Yeah, we'll go back. Oh, sir, back in the car. Double jeopardy. Back in the car. You don't understand. Get back in the car. Double jeopardy. Officer, he has Alzheimer's. Oh, certainly do not. No. He doesn't no. know what he's doing. I can't go back. I can't go oh, back. I'm sorry. You have to follow us back to the station. No. We'll sort it out there. No. Let's go. I can't go back. Please. Watch your head. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just don't know what you gotta do to get a sandwich in this joint. Can you stop? <laughs> they should be ashamed of themselves. Brutally assaulting and falsely accusing an army veteran. Not to mention a productive law-abiding citizen. You hit a cop. You're lucky they haven't locked you up. Yeah. But we're gonna have to wait here for a while. Yes, we're gonna be here a while. Maybe we can get something to eat. <coughs> this is serious. <coughs> oh, I'm quite aware of the seriousness of it, thank you. Are you? Looks to me like you couldn't care less. Well, get to be my age, you get a little different perspective on things. When I get to be your age, I hope I have a bit more sense. Sorry to bust your bubble, kid, but your current life choices are I'm working against you. Are you seriously lecturing me right now? You're traveling the same path I did. What do you know about my path? You ruined my life the minute- seriously going there again? Look, you've been so distracted by your own disaster that you failed to notice anybody else around you. What, like you? You gonna tell me again how your life was more miserable than mine? You know, your brother's dad left him when he was little too, and his mom died. He chose to let it mold him into a better man. Yeah, I forgot. Philip is the perfect son. You shut out everybody who cares about you. And for what? To get back at me? Make me pay? There's nothing you can do that could make me feel any worse than what I've already done to myself. I was a fool to think you could ever forgive me. I had to try. Mr. Pittman, your son called and explained about your condition. I'm not gonna press charges for the assault. You're free to go. Well, it's about time. Actually, he said to leave you here. But since it's Christmas Eve, y'all have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. 
so you're kicking me out at the curb, huh? Seems fitting. Just shut up and get out of the car, Fred. You have some nerve, sis. Hello, Philip. Which part are you angry about? I can't believe you let him get arrested. He wasn't charged with anything. Calm down. He's fine. He's fine? How would you know? You just dropped him off on a sidewalk. If he wasn't, you'd have called. He could have gotten hurt. Amy. But he didn't. He told me about the bar. It's too late to stop the eviction. Still haven't decided what to do with the money. Money? What money? He didn't tell you about the money? What money? I swear you better stop yelling at me. I'm going to punch you in the throat. What money? The money he stashed after he robbed the bank. <laughs> you are such a liar. I still don't know what to do with it. Well, you can't keep it. Why not? Because it's not yours? Well, it wasn't Dad's either. Exactly. I deserve it. Well, it's his fault I'm in this mess. What do you expect me to do? I expect you to be an adult and do the right thing.
Sorry I'm late. You're never late. Let's just get started. Okay then. Let's start with punches. It's like you're not even trying. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that's how you punch. What is going on? Nothing, you just have to punch harder. This is not about me. I don't know what to do. About your dad? No, I burned that bridge. No, I don't know what to do about the money. Well, what are your options? Well, I gave it back. I live in the streets, or I keep it and try to rebuild my life. I mean, he wanted you to have it in the first place, right? I don't know. <clears throat> yeah? Oh, no. No. No, he, he doesn't want me there. Oh, really? Okay, I'll I'll be right there then. Okay. I have to go. It's my dad. You okay? Didn't know if you'd go. Didn't think you'd want me to. Well, um, I got some things to do, so I'll give you two some privacy. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Sorry for how we left things. Me too. Forgive me for the things I said. But you were right. It doesn't give me a right. We all make mistakes. Big or small. God forgives them all. That rhymed. <laughs> it's because I'm a poet and, and didn't, didn't know, know it. it. Yeah, I remember you saying that when I was a kid. You think maybe we could start by erasing that last conversation? I think I can do that. And so are you dying? <laughs> I hope not. It is pneumonia, yeah. so I guess it could be serious. I can't lose you. You won't lose me, sweet girl. There's something I have to do. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, oh, oh God, no! Viejo sin vergüenza. That's not funny. Don't do that. I'll be right back. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Sorry, visiting hours ended 10 minutes ago. Now 
who's running from the law. That nurse looked like she meant business. Well, she does. I wouldn't cross her. Where'd, where'd you get that? Really? This is from the... Every dollar. It's got to be in here. What are you doing? It's got to be... This is it. This is what got me into that God stuff, as you said. What is it? When that teller was filling this bag with money, I saw her slip something else in there. I thought it was a dye pack. And she looked right through me. Later in the car, I dug through and found it. Jesus loves you. That's it? Well, there's more on the back. For when we were still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Even though I was in the middle of this terrible crime, God still reached out to me through this woman. Even though I didn't have it all figured out, I didn't have my life together, but Jesus still forgave me. I didn't deserve that. None of us do. Mr. Pittman, I'm here for your... Excuse me, you're not supposed to be here. Visiting hours are over. Can't we have another minute? Mm, absolutely not. Out you go. You can come back tomorrow. Please do. Philip, son, I need a favor. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God, it's Amy. I guess you already knew that. <sighs> I suck at this. Anyway. I don't know you. but I'd like to. I know I've done a lot of pretty awful things. I've hurt a lot of people. But if what Dad says is true, you love me anyway. I don't know how, but I've made a huge wreck of my life. Could use a little love right now. So if you will take me. I'm yours.
Cheers. God. He doesn't deserve it any more than I do. Help me forgive my dad. What's all this mystery about? What is this place? It's whatever you want it to be. Uh, I don't understand. Mm, it's yours. What? Dad told me about the bar, and we wanted to use the money. Well, we wanted to use the money for what it was intended. You used the money to buy this? No, not that money. That was stolen. Turned that back into the police. What kind of person you think I am anyway? <laughs> no, Philip and I put our money together. I've been saving ever since I got out of prison. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. You all decked out. Stand up, let me get a look at you. Whoa, you are a tall drink of water. What time you get off tonight? Past your bedtime. Hey, this guy bothering you? I think I can handle it. Oh, you asked for it. Fred! Fred! Have you ever seen a small Latina woman beat the living daylights out of an old, old man? Oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so... Oh, it's, it's you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, um... Visiting your dad. Yeah, he's... He's a handful. Yes, he is. Um, yeah, uh... Be good to him. Th thank you. Um, a Amy? Yes? Would you like to get a cup of coffee sometime? No. That works.
Okay.